Welcome to day 5 of my A4 Advent calendar. In this series of videos I will show you in 24 days how to program A4R 8-bit microcontrollers. So let's see what's in the paper bag for day 5. Okay, so for day 5 we have 3 480 ohm resistors and 3 LEDs in yellow, red and green. And in today's video I want to show you how to control outputs by using the I.O. ports of our Atmega microcontroller. But before we start we have to take a look at the pinout. So here on the pinout you can see in green or green labeled all the I.O. ports which are available for the Atmega 48868868 or 328 microcontroller. And you can see they are divided into three ports. We have port B here and here and here, we have port C here and here, and we have port D here and here. Each port can have up to 8 I.O. pins and every I.O. pin can be used as an input, for example if you connect a button to it, or as an output, for example if you connect an LED to it. And today I will want to control my three LEDs over the I.O. ports of the AppMega microcontroller. So let's take a look at the pinout I want to use. So you will see I have connected a green, a yellow and a red um, LED to my microcontroller and I want to simulate a simple traffic light here. And you can see I have connected the red LED to port B pin 0, the yellow LED to port B pin 1 and the green LED to port B, um, port B pin 2 here. Okay, but how can we control the wretches or the LEDs over the microcontroller? Therefore, we will need two important registers. So each um, I.O. port has a data direction register and a data register. The data direction register is used to set the pin direction. So for example, here we have the eight pins which are available on port B. And if I want to set port B, B0 to an output, I have to write a 1 to it. If I want to set it to an input, I can leave it or I can write a 0 to it. Okay, and let's say I have configured port B0 as an output. Then if I want to turn the LED on, I have to write a 1 to port B0 here, also to this bit here. And if, if I want to turn the LED off, I will write a 0 to this bit here. Okay. So let's give me a second so I can connect my LEDs and then we will be back and I will write a small program for a simple traffic light. Okay, so you can see I've connected my three LEDs. Now let's write a simple program to control them. So I will CD into my A4 or Advanced Calendars folder. And I've already created a folder 5 LED for controlling the LEDs. And this folder is currently empty, so I will just copy everything from our first Hello World program into this folder. So what do we have here now? Okay, let me run a clean first. So now we have the main.c file with our main program and a make file to build our program. So let me open up the make file and here I will, um, I will change the target name from hello to traffic light because I want my output to be named traffic light. Okay, and now let's open up the main file here. And this is just an empty main function with an endless loop, but we will change a little bit here to implement the logic for our LEDs. So first I have to include the header a4r slash io.h and I need this um, header file to get access to the registers of um, to the A4R microcontroller. So now if I write port B, what will happen is it will write to this address here in the address space of the microcontroller and the correct values will be written to the registers. Okay, and I need a second include. I will need a sleep function and I can get it from util, uh, delay slash or util slash delay dot h. Okay, and first I will need a variable I call state and this variable will contain the current state of our, um, of our traffic light. 
and then I will init the um, LEDs or the IOs for the LEDs and let's add some defines here. So red is connected to BB, um, port B pin 0. Yellow is connected to port B pin 1. And green is connected to port B pin 2. And now I have to write to the data direction register of port B and I will set one shifted by PB0 or one shifted by PB1 or one shifted by PB2. And this will set these three pins PB0, PB1 and PB2 to outputs. The other pins remain inputs. Okay, and now we'll start an endless loop. First I will clear all outputs and I will do this by writing to port um, to port B data register and I will end this value with the inverted value of 1 shifted by red or 1 shifted by yellow or 1 shifted by green. And what this will do is it will clear these three pins and it will leave the other pins untouched. Okay, and now we will, I will use a switch case here and depending on the state I will set um, the corresponding bits. So in case the state is zero, our traffic light should be um, green. So I will, or not port D, port B, and I will or it with one shifted by green. Okay. Then I will use delay ms, which is a function which, which sleeps an amount of milliseconds and I want the green phase to be 100 milliseconds in size. And then I will set state to 1. Or let's increment it by 1 and I will do a break here. Okay, so then it will break the switch case, go back to the while one loop, clear all the outputs and then we will have case 2. So let me copy these five lines here and we need three more cases. So in case the state is one, it will set the yellow LED. It will wait 500 milliseconds. It will increment the state and it will break. Okay, then here in case two, we will only set the red LED. We will wait 100 milliseconds, increment the state, okay. And then in state 3, I will set the red LED and the yellow LED. I will wait 500 milliseconds and here I will set the state to 0 and I will break. So I will land again in the um, K0 state where the LED is green. And this is the simple state machine for um, our traffic light. I will add a default case here where I just break because normally I should never land in this default case. But for safety, let's do it. Okay, so now let me try to compile the program. This works. And now let me flash the program. So I want to flash traffic light.hex. I have to give it my password. Okay, and now you can see our simple traffic light here. So controlling I open seems to work. So that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I hope I will see you tomorrow. Bye.